This is Frederick from the techno label Detroit Berlin. Welcome to my studio in Antwerp, Belgium, where I do all the mixing and mastering for electronic music projects. Also have my own projects like techno, industrial and electronic body music. All the videos from my channel are made here in the studio. And here we go. This is the middle section of my studio where I do most of the work. I mix and master and I also produce on this desk, the studio desk from Unterlash is the equipment I use the most, my Minimoke Voyager. The console one works with plugins, it's amazing. These Adam S3H monitor speakers, I have them now for two years. I must say I really am pleased with the way they translate my mixes uh, onto other systems. Also got still these GBLs. They are controlled by the uh, Dromer CMC3 monitor controller. In the near future I might add uh, Avantone MixCube still like the uh, UAD Apollo but in the future I will switch to the SSL Big 6. I would say let's take a look at the other sections of this room. Left I've got the EBM corner and then to the right I've got my 90s techno and the dark techno I make. Let's take a look at some more gear. This is what I call my Techno corner on the rack, it's the Octatrack, which I kind of underuse. I like to do MIDI sequencing and some effects with it. I don't use it as sampler that much. Next to the Octatrack is the most amazing drum machine of all drum machines. It's the Analog Rhythm from Electron, utterly amazing. Next to that is the Ibanez RM80 mixer. It's an 8-channel mixer, but uh, I feel it's more like a distortion unit. Everything you run through it, if you crank up the drive and levels, it distorts in a way that I can't describe. It's nice distortion. You also got EQs and you can tweak everything. It creates this nice saturation and distortion. I really love the sound of it. The RD8 and the RD9 from Behringer. 808 and 909 clones, but they sound good. They are nice to perform with, really nice. I have a few of those videos where I just do a performance on just one of those drum machines and it's, it's just plain fun. Then I've got a classic synthesizer, the Alpha Juno. Brilliant synthesizer, has the Juno sound, has the chorus, has some um, special waveforms where the Hoover sound originated from, a stereo pin controller for the Alpha Juno. It's a nice synthesizer, especially if you're into 90s techno and just techno in general. Then I got the JV80 from Roland and I got an expansion card, the dance expansion. It screams rave sounds of the 90s. So useful if you want to nail that sound of the 90s. Let's maybe jump over to the other side of the studio. When you think of electronic body music you automatically think about Front 242. Leave a comment if you know Front 242 and what you think about them. An industrial like 9 inch nails. Really big fan of 9 inch nails. They're an inspiration. These synthesizers I can make those industrial body music sounds. This one is an old one. Probably my first virtual analog synthesizer. I like to create drums with this. It's very clean and when I route it to distortion units, a fuzz pedal, an overdrive pedal, it gives me the instant industrial vibe and feeling I was looking for. And then I got a CS1X. I think it's pretty underrated because it has this lovely 90s sounds. Then the FM Beast SY77 from Yamaha. Picked it up pretty cheap, second hand and it's amazing. It's a beast. It has the EBM sound. It combines FM with AWM the sub fatty I've got it nine years I routed through the metal muff and uh, is really powerful 
the grandmother. It's an amazing synthesizer, really beefy, really deep. It's yeah, a typical Moog. I also bought the Matriarch. The two of them, they have their own existence. So first I wanted to sell off the grandmother. I kept it and I'm really glad. Next one, the MS-20 module. Sound, I don't think I must explain how aggressive it can sound. Perfect for my projects. Complex sequencer from Coma. I'm divided on the sequencer. Explained it in my previous studio tour, so let's go on. Still got the Prophet 08. Sounds amazing. Rest in peace, Dave Smith. He was brilliant. I also got the DX200, which is also an amazing FM synthesizer. And then I've got the Waldorf, the Micro Q. Let's go back to my modular stuff. This is the performance modular, different modules from Hex Inverter, VPME.de, and from Erika Synth. Really nice sequencer over there and a Maleco voltage block, which yeah modulates everything. I can record CVs to these Eurorack modules. A voice with the Basimulus Iteritas, a Modcan triple VCO, which is digital but sounds really amazing. Then I go to the Soma FX, got a Pittsburgh filter in there, the first sequencer, then the EO Wave modules connected to the Ripples filter from Mutable Instruments. You should check out my channel ModTech, it's pretty new. I upload short live sets from 10 to 20 minutes. I also make some shorts of them. Please check that out and yeah, give me a like. The big one, the really big one, the Behemoth modular synthesizer. Let's take a look. The centerpiece of my studio, my Behemoth modular synthesizer like I call it. If I put it like this, like on its side, it has the same height as myself. The width of this unit, it's almost two meters. It cost me a lot of time. So pleased with the results. The brain is the matriarch and these modules, they are simple modules, but the combination of having so many modules is amazing to make really nice sounds. The Moog Matriarch is an unbelievable synthesizer. It's semi-modular, it really connects well to modular, especially Eurorack. My behemoth modular, I made the enclosure. It has so many modules in there that all connect and intertwine with the Moog Matriarch. I am beyond words when I'm describing this modular Eurorack synthesizer. The sounds I can generate with this, beyond words. I use this also for my modular videos on my channel. I do demos of those Duffer modules. Most of them are truly underrated, so please check that out. Uh, maybe it's a nice time if you like my content what I'm doing if you want to know more please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel put a comment in the section down below what you think about this synthesizer are you going crazy because there's a lot of wires that needs to be plugged you create sound connections by using wires like these all telephone operators that use patch cables to make connections it is the same principle a normal synthesizer it's connected inside these modules they're all separate modules and they all do their one thing and you make interesting sounds by connecting those modules together and on top of the modular is what else another modular it's filled with modules from Sputnik Modular. It's modeled after the Bukla synthesizers. What I'm going to do is, instead of having other case sitting on top of my modular, I'm going to extend the modular another two rows and yeah, it will look even more ridiculously big and yeah, amazing I would say. 
And then we got this little device, it's the Nord Drum, the first one. It implements well with Eurorack. I will also try it with drum pads to see if I can play a little bit of drums. I have a Cork Wave Drum, which I think is an amazing way of implementing rhythms in my productions. I don't use it that often, but the sound is really cool, especially when I send it to the analog heat from Electron. The analog heat might be the most underrated device in my studio. It makes everything sound amazing or close to amazing. Maybe let's take a look at my video setup and yeah, let's see how I make the videos. This is my setup, got a ring light for the view on the modules, I've also got a LED light that is actually normally set up here, but now it's set up at the other side. I've got this camera, which is filming a part of the modular. I have my microphone hooked up to that camera. And for now, I have the GoPro camera that I use for live sessions, uh, which gives me a, a really big impression of the room. This camera will yeah, have another use when live performing and all cameras will actually go through the Atom Mini Pro ISO being an amazing tool in yeah, doing live streams and just recording videos in general. All different kind of frame rates and resolutions, they all will be the same and I have multi-angled videos nicely lined up. It's an amazing tool, it's super easy, it makes my life a lot easier for recording videos in general and live streaming. That has been a really good investment. I started Detroit Berlin as a record label, which still is the case but the YouTube channel of Detroit Berlin it's more about production about instruments about modular stuff I kind of changed some things uh, from yeah last setup in my studio everything is connected via MIDI when I have a source a clock sending out a clock signal Everything gets synced. Every synthesizer has its own dedicated channel. So that makes things a lot easier, especially when I'm recording stuff for my new projects. When producing techno, I often just played the parts and recorded them directly to audio. With my EBM projects, I'm using this nice device, the Akai MPC Live 2, a brilliant piece of kit and I sequence everything from this. I also sample in here and use these samples for my projects. It has been really nice working with this one. I don't use it for my techno because that's more like the modular stuff and yeah just recording some synthesizers on top of it but for the EBM stuff I truly adore using this MPC. This concludes the Studio Tour 2023. Next will be some more videos from my modular system and on my artist channels I will do many more DJ sets and modular techno live streams. Please check these artist profiles out and let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Also got a Patreon page which you can check out if you want to support me even more and I would really like to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this studio tour. Have a really nice evening, day or night and yeah, see you next time.